And this week, voters in yet another Republican-leaning state resoundingly rejected efforts that could be put into place that would eventually limit abortion access. Last night, Ohio voters rejected a ballot initiative that, if it had passed, would have made it more difficult to change the state's constitution. It would have raised the number of votes necessary to enact a change from a simple majority plus one to 60 percent. Republican lawmakers created the initiative known as Issue 1 in an attempt to make it harder for another referendum to pass in November, one that would enshrine abortion protections into the state's constitution. Now, Issue 1's backers framed it as an effort to keep outside influences out of local politics, trying to paint it as broader than abortion rights, talking about minimum wage, other things like that. But the net effect would have changed the odds against the abortion amendment before it made it to an actual vote of the people. So here are the results. 99% uh, of all the vote has been counted. The voters rejected this effort, 57-43. It, it is interesting. In order to get it to a 60% threshold, the yes had to get to 50% plus one. Uh, but it wasn't just Democratic-leaning voters that were galvanized by, the, by this issue. Voters showed up across the political spectrum. Just look at the unofficial results from Delaware County. This is a Republican-leaning suburb that is not very Trumpy, and we've been following it for years since the rise of Trump. It's an outer suburb of Columbus, which, of course, is the capital city of Ohio. Delaware County voted against Issue 1 by over 15 points. It, the same county broke for J.D. Vance last year by just over six points. And for Trump in 2020, he carried that state by seven points. Now, back in the old Romney era of the Republican Party, Delaware County was a double digit. This is the home of a lot of college-educated Republicans. And despite claims that the vote was to protect the state from outside interests, outside donors pumped over $26 million into the race. Anti-issue one backers did outspend their opponents on ads by $5 million. The anti-abortion organization Susan B. Anthony's list called the result a, quote, sad day for Ohio and a warning for pro-life states across the nation. The organization is right. Republicans should hear warning bells from last night's vote. They've been ringing for months ever since the Dobbs decision. This isn't really an Ohio story, folks. Ohio is just the latest place that's reporting the same election story on abortion post-Dobbs. We've seen referendum votes to secure abortion rights win in Kansas. We've seen it in Michigan. A referendum to not protect the right to abortion failed in Kentucky. Voters even turned out for an off-year Supreme Court election in Wisconsin in huge numbers because that race would, that individual justice would be the deciding vote for future abortion issues in front of the court in that state. So if we're paying attention, voters have already shown us how they will vote if abortion is the main issue on the ballot. It doesn't matter whether it's a purple state, whether it's a ruby red state, whether it's a former swing state like Ohio. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.